Good afternoon, welcome to Full Size Ford. It's a little over 100 degrees today. Uh, today we're headed over to Western Montana to go check out and possibly pick up a 1964 Ford Galaxy Fastback. I'm gonna take you, for a long, take you along for the ride. Hope you enjoy. So we are eastbound and down. Headed towards the Idaho border. So we got about a three and a half hour drive. See the temperatures are fairly mild today. Some of you live in a little warmer climates might be saying, oh, that's nothing. But you know, for us up here, that's a little toasty. make nicer riding one-ton trucks with all the technology that we have these days this thing still rides like a buckboard Whisking you around that floor, sweeping you off your feet. And then the, in the tasty leaves won't be so sweet. Don't you see that I want you? Don't you see that I need you? Can't you see?
days, Kale, you're gonna find a car that has the tires aired up on it. We got one out of we got one out of four. That ain't bad. That's 25%. That's a 250 average. It's above the Mendoza line. Oh, so close. Got it. Awesome. And we'll give you a quick little walk around on the one that we just picked up. It's actually bumpers a little bent up. Good core, straightenable. Uh, it's actually got decent front fenders on it. Hood's pretty banged up. Looks like maybe somebody tried to tow it or something. Maybe ran into something. Who knows? Uh, rocker panels are pretty beat up on it. Got a little bit of Bondo right there. These cars were so long, it's pretty common to see them bent up on the bottom like that. It's a little bent up in the back there, but it's you know, probably straightenable. Straighten it and re-chrome it. And it's pretty, uh, this side not too bad. A little bit of body work in the door there. And, uh, kind of a wow in the door there. Actually, like I say, this fender's pretty good too. Interior, she's pretty, been sitting a while. Dash pad's all cracked. No headliner, of course. Gotta dig the red and the blue uh, lights in the uh, interior. Somebody's kind of like set a mood in there. So, does have a front bench in it. Still got the radio in it. That's got a partially disassembled uh, 289 in the engine compartment. Uh, probably stuck, but we'll see. So, don't really know what we're going to do with this one yet, uh, but, uh, anyway, time to get on the road back to, uh, Spokane, and, uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. So, yeah, just on the way out of Kalispell, we just spotted this little, uh, 64, 289 car, fastback, sitting on a uh, little car lot here. Owner says it's for sale. It's also got a wagon out back. Pretty straight car, actually. It runs and drives. Work on the rear quarter back there. And she's old and weathered, but she's serviceable. Looks like you need the back seat. Back glass missing. Fairly decent rear bumper. Probably probably needs trunk lid. It's a little 64 Galaxy 500. So here we are next morning. Uh, we got in about 3 a.m. last night, yeah, about 2.30. And uh, kind of take a little closer look at what we got here. Um, got the hood open. What we've got is a, what's left of a 289 that will probably never spin again. Um, some, the valve cover's laying in there. Yeah, this motor's been setting out in the open exposed for a while, so. Probably not much of a chance that one's going to uh, going to break free. Mm. Kind of a nice nice touch on the uh, the uh, oil pressure gauge there on the sending unit. It's kind of cool. This is a power steering car. I was kind of hoping it would be a manual steer car. 
manual brakes, non-air conditioning. So it's always fun getting in the trunk on these uh, things to see what kind of treasures you have. And in this one, there's really not much. It's like we got the factory air cleaner, a couple uh, old uh, fan belts, and generator belt. And we do got a couple little trinkets there. You know, we got some, look at that, pretty nice little coat hanger and a door. Got the, the door, door door lock thingy that's, that's chrome. That'll probably polish up. Um... The trunk is actually pretty dry. Don't see any holes in it, don't see any rot. Um, this car doesn't appear to have a lot of rust in it. it. Just appears to have been a lot of bangs and bruises, dents. So, I don't know. Is this a, is this a restorable car? You guys can kinda put what you think in the comments down there. Think if we should is this worth pursuing getting a title for and putting it back on the road, being a Seacode 289 car? Um, definitely going to need some quarter panel work back here. That's pretty smashed. Um, some rocker panel work and so forth. So is it worth it or is it a parts car? Okay, again, let me let me know in the comments. Let's see if this one... She's airing up. She's cooking here. Shoot, look at the tread on that. That's got some more miles in it. There is absolutely no reason to, to throw this this wheel to the scrap pile. Is that a 15-inch wheel? Well, be it is a 15-inch wheel. This car probably would have originally came with 14-inch wheels. Let's see what happens with this one. I hear snack crackle pop. Look at her, look at that. That's poetry in motion right there. There's snow tires too. I could rally this down Big Sandy in the wintertime, huh? Sounds like a bowl of Rice Krispies, doesn't it? <laughs> Snap, crackle. Let's just hope we don't get the pop. Well, so there she is, out in the row with the with the rest of the uh, the projects on the to-do list. Um, still really on the fence about whether, in, in the state of Washington, you can get a, a car. This car, of course, doesn't have a title, so you can get a you can get a three-year title. Basically, you go down, pay some money, and uh, they put you on a three-year clock. And if nobody makes a claim on the title within the three years, then after the three years, you get a regular title for the car. Um, does require taking it down to have a state control inspection, so we'd have to put a different motor in it, so at least it's complete when it goes down there. Um, again, on the fence of whether this car is worth doing that for, or it's not, doesn't really have a lot of rust in it. The trunk is clean. Um, it's just beat up. <laughs> so again, Comment below on what you think we should do with this car. And uh, again, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.